Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another day in Dubai. Or like, well, we haven't really seen anything of our stay here yet, besides the uh, when we arrived at Burj Al Arab, which honestly, you guys, is heaven on earth. I wanted to actually film a video where Filippo is answering the questions about me, or not just about me, about himself as well. In all honesty, I thought this could be a fun idea because, you know, like when you're a person that constantly, like, yeah, I have a YouTube channel, right? So on my YouTube channel, I can only talk about myself, but it's also fun, not just for me, but I think maybe also for you guys to hear something about me from someone else's perspective, because perhaps we're going to disagree on some things, maybe. I don't know, but you know how it is. Filippo is going to have some opinions. I'm going to have some things maybe we're going to agree on, and I haven't told him about about any of the questions you guys asked a lot of questions a lot of them were similar some were like i said about him some were about me but overall i just thought it'd be fun to have a bit of different perspective for this q a so we're just waiting for filippo to come back he went to get some food for himself and this kind of reminded me also of that time when we were in maldives when we did a q a not q a but like a little chat at breakfast i kind of want to keep that format like breakfast chats or morning coffee with Tamara and Filippo. So, I don't know what to tell you guys besides, I'm gonna enjoy my food. I'm gonna try my best to listen to what he has to say. The thing is like, if I disagree with something, I can't, or, or if he forgets to say something, I can't help but interrupt. So, in today's video, I'm gonna really try and train myself on that. We're gonna spend the day at the beach, and after that, we're actually going to another beach with our friends. We have lots of friends in Dubai, so that's quite fun. And that's the idea of the day. Let's start. Filippo, are you ready? Yes. I have the questions here. Okay. First of all, good morning. Yes. And the second, uh, this is a uh, bit jet lagged because it's uh, 10 a.m. But for us, it's 7 a.m. So the morning in Dubai is never easy. But I think we're getting used to it, no? No. Oh, you're so healthy this morning, Filippo. Why? Passion fruit, porridge. Maybe if you say something like that, they think that usually I eat... Uh, pancakes. Pancakes, croissant. No. Oh my god, you have a little scratch here. What happened? Baby, I, I promise it's you in the night. No, baby, it's Baby, not. you beat me up in the night. Maybe I'm sure. That's why I always ask you... Never. ...to remove rings, to remove watches, because... Baby, you... no. Baby, baby, you do. Anyway. Best moment of the day, as you know. It's coffee. So, do you want a, a first question? You choosing the question or I choose the question? Do you want to choose the question? Well, as you want. Okay, I choose some, you choose some. That's democracy. Yeah. Favorite food made by Tamara? Bah, baby, yeah. <laughs> baby, which kind of question? Baby, for you, the kitchen is a wardrobe. The worst of all is maybe my best friend asked that question. Are you Sandra? Sretan. <laughs> Of course, he's a sarcastic baby. You don't cook. Do I make you something? Ah, no, no. The best thing that you do is the pizza. And it's pretty good, no? It is very good. Okay. Uh, uh, the pizza, the, the you know, the, the already made one. It's not like she's making the pasta and... Yeah, three words that describe Tamara. A lawyer, number one. Honest, number two. And a devoted, number three. To me, to work, to everything. Also, guys, passion fruit, my favorite. Uh, oh, you didn't list it in your top three fruits. Maybe it's the best. Yeah. Also so good for you. Can I say three words that describe you? I never thought about it. But Did they ask you for it? No. Then uh, you can't. <laughs> okay. Yes, you can, you can. I think, um, I'll tell you, hardworking, yes. socially intelligent. That's not one word, but you know what I mean. Very social in a way, like socially smart. You're not social like you want to hang out with people, but you're so good with people. Also because I don't want to hang out with people. That's what I mean, but you're good with them. And, uh, I do because my time, as everyone's time should be, is very precious. And third is... Because time is the most important thing we have. And third word would be caring, because you're the most caring man that I have ever come across in my life. The most, like the one that looks after me, like honestly, like I never experienced this level of care from any man in my life. Just so you know, even if you Thank think you, it's normal, mom. like when I'm sick, when I'm whatever, like, you're wow. You're like level of what my mom would do. Porridge with nuts, uh, berries of any kind, and I don't know. Next question is, when did you realize that I'm the one? There was a specific moment, because as I'm, you know, as I told you already, I think, maybe not. Honey, as I told you already, when I start with Tammy, when we met, it wasn't clear that it was the woman of my life. It was clear that I liked her. 
very much. It was clear that she was very smart, uh, beautiful for my standard, you know, it was clear. But was it clear that uh, she was the one uh, that I want to spend the life with? No. And uh, also we were very different at the beginning, you know, coming from different places, coming from different culture. It wasn't an easy thing. Also, keep in mind that it was during COVID, so we moved together immediately. So, you know, we didn't have the chance to know each other slowly, slowly, but it was like a boom, like a tornado in my life. And I was thinking and working on da 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 and then I remember one day, after I think two months or three months, I don't know, I was in the shower in the, our house in Paris and uh, she was also in the bathroom doing her makeup. I don't know what happened. You know, when you shower, you think usually because it's the only five minutes where you don't have the phone. I mean, unless you are Tamara. <laughs> I but was bit out, baby. It's true. I sometimes shower also know, with the phone, usually, but that's for the work purposes. Usually, where the shower is very important to me because it's the only moment where you are with yourself. So I don't know what I was thinking, but I came out. Do you remember? Yeah, it's like like it was yesterday. Like and I like, remember like, so clearly. Like I was I so had, surprised. Uh, like I had, uh, how do you say, religion? Epiphany. Exactly. Like I had an epiphany, and I said, "Baby, I love you." That's it. So you know. It took some time, but I remember very well when it was clear. And from that moment, also the working on it was easier. Yeah. Because you know you're working for something you really want. That's it. For me, it was the first date. <laughs> no, but that's not normal. No, it's okay. Let's just put it clear. I immediately, well, first of all, I all of my friends were like, because Filippo was kind of flirting with me, first of all, even if he wouldn't admit it. I wasn't really like thinking flirting. And my friend said, oh my God, Tamara, I don't know how you're going to get out of this one. So I just decided to go on a first date and like see how it goes. And there, when I realized how honest you are and how down to earth you are and how you were like, I was afraid because until then, every time I would go out on a date with men or I would call them more boys, they would be bragging so much with what they do, how much they earn, who they know, you know, like all of this, like name dropping, all the things that they've done. And by the way, this is so good. This? Yeah. And things like that. So I just kind of expected the same from Filippo, but when I saw how genuine he was, I was actually shocked. I immediately said, as you guys know, on our first date that I like you. And Filippo was quite shook. He was quite surprised. He didn't expect that I was just honestly going to tell him that I like him, I guess. No, baby, uh, I was scared. I was like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was like, what? what is going on? But uh, the, why is it scary when someone is honest and upfront to men? Because I didn't go on a date to marry someone, you know? And I was always being single and... But anyway, it was the best thing that happened to me. So what that? And I think that like, for me personally, I always think like if you go honestly, you can't lose anything. I don't like when people play games and then you just lose so much time on that one person that is standing in the way. Uh, you never win anything by playing Maybe next games. question. So I, what I wanted to say is when I understood really that you, you know, like we started dating, but then we weren't really sure. You're not really sure if, you, if it's gonna work, like if it's gonna work out, right? I think when I knew you were the one, the one. Okay, after, we had one little fight in Costa Rica, which was the end of that first year. Yes. And after we made it through that fight, and I kind of explained what I wanted, what was important for me, like things, etc. And Filippo understood remember, it. I remember I told you? Yeah. In Costa Rica, listen, we don't have to be together. You know, it's like a, sometimes people force each other to be together. We don't have to be together if we're not, you know, if we're fighting, if we're made, if we're not made for each other. We can be friends, and sometimes being friends, it's the relationship is much better. So I was like, listen, no, and you know, guys, I'm such a not a fighter. I'm like, I don't. If I take something on board in my life, it has to bring me joy, happiness, lightness. I don't understand these people that they are together and they fight all day. What's the point of being with someone? You already fight at work. You already fight with your family. You already fight with your friends. Do you need someone in the house that is fighting you? No. So that time was quite hard for us because... Not hard. I mean, don't think of something extreme. But it was difficult because uh, this one, she's... Uh, I'll tell, I'll, so shall I say what it was? Yeah, I'm gonna say what it was. What was so it? I'm very scared of heights. We went to jungle, like group of 10, and basically there was this bridge, like a very, very scary bridge in the air. And Filippo just went running up first, left me behind. And because I want to take a video of her coming up. No, you were just excited to go on the top. 
it's true. It's okay now. It's okay. No, but the, I, I also wanted to take a video of you. But anyway. Anyway, so he went up and I was petrified down. And I'm never scared of anything. Like, I'm not a one that is like, oh, yeah, baby, help me and stuff like that. I'm like such an independent woman. We really are really scared of lights. Like, yes. there's one thing I don't handle well. And I panic. And I have like an anxiety. And my friends help me and stuff. And I just was like, why is my boyfriend not helping me? You know what I mean? And he didn't understand that I was scared of heights, I guess, at that point. I was so pissed, you guys. So, of course, she took it to the next level. Then of course, I took it to the next said. level. But then uh, we had this like really nice conversation. We didn't cry. I was just no. pissed first. Uh, in the jumbo, I was pissed. But then we had this nice conversation at breakfast. And he said, listen, we're going to have to be together. Right? Yeah. And in the end, after that, we went through that. I explained myself. And I think after that, yeah, yeah. Everything wasn't No, we had, other, we had other moments. That's how it should be, you know. People fight and they fix it. And then if you can fix it, and then you... The, because the fight has to be worth it. Because if the fight is a penis, as they say, then it's, uh, it means it's, it's useless. Then there is no point of fighting. You want to fight? Okay, let's fight. But is this fight helping us? Yes, then it's worth it. And all the fights we had, they took us where we are here, which is a place where we don't fight anymore. And that's the beauty of our relationship. You know, we had the three, four uh, big fights. Like big, like, uh, for me, big fight is after the fight, I'm thinking, I'm done. What am I doing here? I, you know, I need peace in my life. I, I want to be fine, you know? And I had three, four moments like that. I think I had two. But after that, it's been like, I think, uh, almost two years that we are in a happy place and, uh, and, uh, I, and we own that. We fought for it. I'm proud of it. That was like in the first year, those fights. And now I know when I go home, no matter what, I have a partner, a supporter, and that's all I need. You know, I have nothing to fight. I can do whatever I want. And you too. We always uh, partners in crime or in not crime, whatever we do. And uh, super happy. And I think, again, that we have this kind of relationship also because the fights we had at the very beginning. And the way, I think it's not because of the fights we had, because of the way we... But you know, you know the secret, guys. When we just met, we were already living together. And when, we live, when you live together, you cannot escape. You have to sit and talk. When uh, you date each other for the first year, you know the first year is the, the most important moment. It's like the first year of a baby. It's the most important. Um, what were we saying? The microphone, something happened with the microphone, you guys. So unfortunately, no more. So hopefully this will work. I really hope. But um, I will record on uh, the voice here. We were saying basically that we had few fights, which actually we resolved. And that now we're saying us. That, that, you know, at the very beginning, we were, you know, we had three, four big fights and then, uh, but they were not uh, useless, you know, they were worth it because thanks to that fight, then we went through, you know, uh, the understanding each other process. And now there is no more of any of that, you know. And I was saying that how, what helped us is that when we just met, we moved. We were already living together. And when you live together, you need to sit and talk if something doesn't work in the way that one of the two were thinking. When you are dating each other, let's say in the first year of the relationship. I'm struggling eating with the left hand so much. Anyway. You know, you are, uh, you don't live together and then you just let it go and you don't sit and talk, you know, and the first year of the relationship, as the first year of, uh, of a human being, is the most important one. That's it, next. I just wanted to say that I think it's kind of interesting. We have some rules in relationship. Do we? Yeah, when it comes to fighting. Like one of the rules that Filippo put in quite early, there is no hanging up on the phone to each other. No, no. We don't hang up the phone. There is no uh, not talking. Like, you know, when someone gets mad, I think like I used to have this habit that when I'm mad, I would basically... Um, you still have it, but I let you... I not let anymore. You, I let you be for five minutes. Now it's five minutes, but you still yeah, yeah. maybe hours. Yeah. I used to have this when I like get annoyed about something. I would uh, not speak, you know? But I realized that it's really like, it's not a good thing at all. Like, you know, it's quite a... And I couldn't fight it. I had to like really reprogram myself. But now when we fight, we talk. We don't like have those non-talking, passive-aggressive, toxic... But honestly, toxic. I, don't, I don't remember the fight in the last year. No, me neither. But you know what I mean? We have these rules also to not bring anything to the next level. Yeah. So we have your rules. We have a rule that anyway, it never happened. But if we ever fight, we make it, we resolve it before we go to bed and there is no I'm gonna go sleep in the other room yeah nothing like that okay, next question when do you guys plan to have kids does he want kids and when yes of course of course if uh, you know God uh, <laughs> gave us uh, a baby why not but I do think that it shouldn't be a man call 
because I always say I think that the woman has a superpower which is to procreate it's like to be invisible or like to fly you know so I don't think that any anyone should be allowed to tell you if you can use that superpower or not I think it should always be a woman called so what I'm trying to say is that if Tamara wants a baby I'm here no problem if she doesn't want a baby I'm here no problem I will never push her and you know there is nothing wrong if uh, a woman doesn't want a baby she just needs a man that doesn't want a baby or a man that respects her choice for me baby I love kids but if you tell me I don't want babies I'd be like uh, then I don't want babies too whatever you want in this case especially whatever you want but I think you know my uh, opinion like yeah, the, yeah, you the do. way you a little bit answered is that you don't that maybe I don't want babies no 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 I do and I know that you do so we want but what I'm saying is that if uh, that it's up to you and I know you want so one thing, so we will if uh, <laughs> yeah one thing that I really like that Filippo says is if we have a baby I will be the happiest man on earth and if we don't have a baby I will be the happiest man on earth 100% I love when he says that because it just means that a baby is not going to change really no, our relationship no, per se no, no. I'm not well, obviously going to go into the, the logistics of having a baby but you know what I mean it's kind of an interesting question how long did it take you to get used to each other I don't know I think uh, I'll say in between everything I'll say a year and a half Yeah. Tell us your favorite look from Tamara ever. Most beautiful, sexy, etc. No. I can't answer to this. No? No because there are few. I like many things of Tamara and I like I don't know because the, I want to say that I like your when you're your sexy version, but what is sexy for me? I don't think it's sexy for many people. Like for me sexy is not showing the body. For me sexy is the opposite. For me sexy is uh, nothing tight. I like the back open for example I, fa- I found that very sexy I don't like uh, sexy dresses you know what I mean yeah. even if they suit you super well and uh, like I remember once when you were wearing like when you wear your short Saint Laurent baby the one with the culotte yeah. you know that's super sexy but you see it's not tight yeah. so I like when you wear your Kate your the robe I love you when you wear Saint Laurent of course but you know you you never wear that I give you an example you remember the jumpsuit yeah the sexy yeah, yeah, yeah. Saint Laurent you don't like that. I mean I loved it once and then ciao I don't want to see it anymore you know because it's uh, it doesn't mean that she cannot wear it she can wear it anything she wants but now you asking me and uh, if you even if she can afford anything because she can wear anything I like when she wears oversized sophisticated big blazers long coats I love that because for me for me sexy is like uh, is like that But more than anything Filippo loves when I wear his clothes. Love it, but uh, you know, I love when you wear my shirts. I love when you wear my pants. There is something in there, you know, about like I own it. I own her, you know? Yeah? She's my girl. Yeah, yeah. I think he's an every man would answer like that. You know, like you're on holidays and you wake up and uh, you put your uh, it's it has an old meaning this thing. It's back in the days, but I can't say. Not back in my days, back in the days. So, I have a question with you. Why did you decide fashion industry for your career? That's a very good question. Why did you decide fashion? Not how, but why? Well, I mean, thinking that I study to be a lawyer, but it happened. I didn't choose fashion. I think fashion chose me. Circumstances, you know, like uh, I was in the in the right moment with the right person and uh, I met someone that met someone and uh, that's it you know I was with someone that knew someone in fashion and that's how it started but what I find very fascinating and I said it before is that you started working in fashion from like the most basic entry job yeah yeah like from uh, can I say it yeah yeah of course there's from nothing to be ashamed I was serving coffee uh, in the showroom in the in the showroom and to start like I think like for me like there's nothing more inspiring that like you know when he says I knew someone it doesn't mean he knew someone and he became a director he knew someone to get a job serving coffee in a showroom you know yeah, what I mean I remember and I can tell you the story because it's quite interesting I was working at Armani and I was just uh, not serving coffee I was helping the sale associates in yeah. the showroom which means bringing also coffee yeah. but bringing the clothes helping the models kind of assistant kind of assistant for uh, and you know imagine the showroom Armani showroom there is a 30 desks and there was uh, you know uh, 30 desks with a 30 not sale associates they are uh, vendito- vendors uh, sellers sellers but- Sellers, like, uh, but you know, you sell the collection to the stores. Yeah, not to people. It's not like business to business. Exactly, it's not to the to the client. You sell it to the stores. And at some point, I was helping this um, seller, and she was working with Saudi, with the Jeddah and the Riyadh. So there are, you know, there was a buyer buying for the Emporio Armani boutique 
in Jeddah and the buyer to buy for the employer money in Riyadh. So this sailor, she was late. So, you know, I started, you know, I'm, I'm, I talk. So I was talking to these people. I was like, hey, how are you? Da, 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 da. Where are you from? I'm from Jeddah, I'm from Riyadh. Uh, we waiting for our seller, but she's not here. So I go to my director at the time, the director of the showroom, Nadia Nava. So I said, Nadia, no, I start, to, actually, I started showing them the leather jackets because they said, can I show this? And you know, my body has always been a perfect, a perfect, a perfect no, perfect uh, sample size. So I could try all the collection in the show. So she would, they were like, oh, and then I start selling them the things. I'm like, you should get this because this is super cool. This is the Napa leather, da, 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 da. you should get the size bigger because it fit is there. And then I started working with them basically. And then I went to Nadia and I said, Nadia, listen, I can do it. And she said, are you sure? Do you know how it works? I said, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I saw how, how it works. I know how to use the, not the computer, the that system. program, yeah. the system. And uh, I'm confident, no worries. So I did it the whole morning with these two people. We had the best time. They went to her they said listen from now on we just want to work with him and that's a true story and from that moment I start to be from an assistant I became a, sa- uh, a seller oh, course, yeah. and I worked there for a couple of years but in the meantime I was doing the seller also for uh, another brand for Jean Paul Gaultier and uh, Cacharel which at the time was a big uh, deal and then I, I started doing Gucci as well so in the same time I was doing four different showrooms and uh, but and what I, I start- think I'm sorry to interrupt what I think is very important from this story for everybody is that if an opportunity arrives you need to grab it. I think that's what's so important message to tell everybody. Like, no, you know, the, the most important message is just go for it. Fake it until you make it. Because worst case scenario, you just go wrong. I mean, what can, what can happen? Like me, I could have... Uh, <laughs> it up i don't know like i'm not a huge fan of fake it until you make it you know why no, as, fake, a, no, as a no, as no, someone who gives jobs no, to but people fake, fake it in your mind it means think you can do it because in my experience you know? like i had people fake things on cv you know so many times and then when they start working uh, i'm like come on like no, no, my fake it until so you many times is people a, fake is things on yourself. cv that's what I meant. Like you need to own it, you mean? Like you need to have confidence. No, you need you need to put it out there. You need to fake it to the sky, to the to the world and say, you know, I'm, I'm already there. Even if you're not. Because you call it to yourself. And most of the time it happens. But you have to believe it. Because, you know, you have to I need to think, work with uh, this a bit, I think. No, no, it's, uh, it works. It works. I think the that's not my main message from this story. My main message from this story is that opportunity comes, you need to grab it. You, no one is going to give you an opportunity unless you grab it for yourself. Yourself, and once you grab it, you have to make the most out of it. I also love the saying in Serbian. We say, uh, I don't know actually, you know if it's a saying, but uh, I say, "Jednom ti Bog da chance." So, like, you get this chance from the God once. So you either use it or you don't use it. And the amount of times, you know, that like I would give someone a chance and they don't use it well, either at work or in private life or whatever. And I'm just like, you know what? The chance was there once. You just didn't use it. You didn't. You didn't bother hard enough. I think what was so beautiful about this story is that you put a lot of effort also you know another important message that i think we should do is that you know why we never home because opportunities doesn't knock your door they don't come home you need to get out there it doesn't matter what is it a dinner you don't have to go to us but it can be a dinner it can be a breakfast but when you stay home nothing happens so go out meet people meet someone that knows someone that knows someone show your personality you're staying at home with your dog it's beautiful but it doesn't bring any opportunities no well, unfortunately because i would love to stay home with a dog i know what is my love can i can i yes one? yes Thank you. Please. Let's see. How to deal with differences about future goals with a partner. You just need to set a goal. It doesn't have to be the same. Yeah. But uh, but it's important to have goals. Like for me, my goal in life is to be able to give you the chance to work less. That's my goal. You know, to make enough money for you to have a better life or for my parents to better to have a better life. Basically to pay back the people that uh, made you who you are. That's my goal. But what if like you have a goal, I have a goal, let's say, to world domination and you have a goal. This is what I think like people, yeah, there's yeah. differences. Like yeah, you, yeah. for example, you want the world and I want to stay at home. It's fine. And I want to have a normal life. It's fine. I, How do you balance? Not, no, you don't. You just respect each other's goals. That's the most important thing. It doesn't have to be the same. But of course, if uh, if your goal is to go help uh, baby elephants uh, in uh, Kenya, and my goal is uh, to become uh, a billionaire in uh, Silicon Valley, then uh, they don't really go together. Exactly. But that's, that is nothing you Thank can you do. So you need to choose the right person. I think also you need to choose the right person. Uh, yeah. Unless the goals are different, but not too different. And then you can just like tell each other, listen, this is my goal respect it and that's it but if the goals are so apart 
that's the point. Like in life, you also need to choose people who kind of are planning to go along well, the same course. path. Of so course. You, you need to learn from nature. Check the nature. Nature never wrong. You never see a giraffe uh, hanging out with a hippo. You know, elephants with elephants, lions with lions, porcospini with porcospini, <laughs> puzzle with puzzle. <laughs> you know, the nature doesn't uh, mix each other. So well, anyway, let's see. It's a very one. good. Uh, I like the uh, comparison. They're cool. They're such a smart man. Yeah, yeah. When I'm not. What languages do you both speak most? English. Yeah. What is his job, and how did he found uh... out his purpose? How he, did he find his purpose? Is when he met me. Yes. The how this Filippo guys? I'm 32. Come on. Would you consider dating a woman, man, with the kids? If you were ever single, of course, no problem. Also, no problem for me. I think. What is his dream job? The one I'm having now. How he became what he is now? I dreamed about it. My favorite EU city. That's a good question. Uh, you know what? What? I know. Uh, it's not Can EU I say who is Christine? Christina. We yes. should say the name of who okay. is asking. Christina Kozic is asking. This is a very smart question because I don't know. I was going to say London, but then I remember it's not in the EU anymore. I, you know, favorite city. I think it's the one I haven't seen yet because I don't know. I think it's Paris. No, I mean Paris is me. Paris is important because I met you, because my business started there, whatever. But I don't have one. Like we loved Vienna. Of course, I love Belgrade. We Not love the. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know. I think Tamara looks a lot like young Monica Bellucci. Don't you agree? No, I don't think so. Tamara is uh, unique. She doesn't look like anyone. Yeah. Filippo. There's a lot of same questions, no? Okay. Hey, Filippo, which oh, is your no. favorite fashion house you work with? Oh, it's Saint Laurent. Nothing to hide. Yeah? What, yeah, yeah. What does he think about spending and saving money? Well, I think that the more you spend and more you own. That's it. I don't believe in saving. I believe in investing. Someone said, I was reading this morning, maybe. Someone said, wait, what, what do you want? I thought you want to give it no, to No, no. Someone said, babe, when I die, sell immediately our airplane, sell immediately so our two choppers, but keep all the real estates because the real estates will take care of you and your kids. I read it this morning. Kako si Tamara? Dali se Filipu sviđa srpska hrana i Beograd? Which means? Do you like Serbian food and puzzle it? Well, of course, I love uh, Serbian food. It's not the lightest in the world, but I love it. It's not the lightest? No. Do you like it? Are sometimes sad that your family is far away? No. <laughs> no, it's the best thing. Uh, <laughs> what is sad about that? <laughs> no, no, where is Filippo from? <laughs> Italian? Yes, I'm Italian and I'm from, can I say from where I am? Yes. From Padova. Do you spend time with your siblings? How many do you have and what is the age gap? I have a sister, she's three years older. I do not spend any time with her because she lives in Rome, but we love each other. Favorite Italian dish or dessert? You inspire us very much. I think this oh, is for you. My favorite Italian dish is a pasticcio that my suocera makes. Pasticcio gnocchi. Pasticcio. Mm, pasticcio. Yeah, yeah. And favorite dessert is tiramisu well, that my suocera makes. Everybody knows that it is tiramisu. Not a question. I just love you guys. Thank you. So much love, baby. So what would you love. like to be remembered for? For being a good person. I know what I would like to be remembered for. I would like to be remembered for inspiring people to make the most out of their, like to reach their potential, to yeah, not yeah. like sit in their talent, but to actually take a challenge. That's what I would like to be remembered for. I'm not saying that that's what I'm doing, but in life, I would like to find a way that I can inspire and motivate people to reach their potential and to not be scared to fail, because even if you fail, it's just one step closer to success. But you are inspiring them. Is he willing to learn Serbian? So I said already this uh, answer, right? Yeah. No, you didn't. No? No, I would love Maybe to learn. Another video. I would love to learn Serbian, but I'm a bit lazy when it comes on languages. Also, Tamara speaks Italian very well, and her parents speak English very well. So that I'm, I don't have a really, you know, a need to learn, but I tried. Did he plan his career? It was spontaneous. It was very spontaneous. Filippo, I can see she makes you very happy. Love Luana. Hi, Luana. You know, she was uh, my friend. She's my friend. She's from South Africa. Yeah. Ciao, Luana. But you didn't comment on what she said. Yeah. Filippo, I can see she makes you very happy. Love Luana. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, of course uh, she does. She makes me the happiest in the world. And you know, Luana and I, we share some stories. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. But, I mean, not uh, in between the, Luana yeah, and I, yeah, but uh, the, the she was part of, uh, you know, a the very, gang. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OG gang. Would the Filipino ever share this beard? No, Maria, I would never. I can cut my 
my hair if I have to, but my beard is, is a no. Sacred. Yeah, yeah. What does he do in the fashion industry? Do you guys see yourself moving from Milan in the future? I said it's an open uh, question. If a business opportunity comes, or if a family need comes, we will. If there is one thing that I'm proud of uh, our relationship is that we are not attached to any physical thing, not an apartment, not a car, not a city. We just attach to people, which is families, and we are attached to our business. So but there is it's no... not like we would be like, oh, I don't want to leave this city no, because no. I have a... We're not, uh, we're not attached to, to Milan. Uh, Milan is very convenient at the moment. Yeah. And if we have to move, we will. How does he manage to travel so much with you? It doesn't work. <laughs> no, but it's a good question. You don't travel that much. We, I don't travel that much with Tamara. Let's say I do maybe four, five. You do when it's a weekend. So guys, if it's a weekend, I can join Tamara and I can help her with videos and pictures, which makes me very happy. But during the week, I have my job. Sometimes I can travel because maybe I can look like Fashion Week, for example. You know, then we can we can match it together. Like there is Paris Fashion Week, we go to Paris together and I work, she works. What is your favorite Serbian dish and word? My favorite word is... Is uh, is anything that finish with uh, a <laughs> Filippo thinks it's very funny that when my friends are over he, and we speak in Serbian, he says every Serbian word finishes in tia, like polizia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know how we say polizia in Italy? How? Polizia. What is favorite Serbian dish? The favorite Serbian dish is maybe the cevape. Uh, maybe just to let you know that now people will get, some people will get mad. They will say the cevape are Bosnian, etc. Oh, okay. It can get a bit controversial, but uh, let's just... Keep it in there that it's kind of like a national dish historically, like from the region, and that also Filippo's never been to Sarajevo, so I could never actually take him to eat Sarajevski Cheva or Banja Luchki for that is. How do you feel to have a public relationship? To be honest, Tamara makes it very easy because she's not, she doesn't play like she's a superstar. So every time I meet you guys, which happened quite a lot in around the world, even without every me, right? time, even without you, it makes me super proud. Like there was not one time that I was like, uh, oh my God, just leave me alone. I'm not like that. I'm Maybe so that. happy. Every time you guys come, I actually I'm the one who is uh, pushing to take a picture. You yeah. know, I feel like, uh, I don't know, super proud. Yesterday I was in, I didn't tell you this baby. Yesterday I was in between the two treatments. Yeah. I looked like you can imagine how yeah. you look baby after an infrared sauna, you're sweaty completely. And this girl came and she's like, oh my God, I follow you. But I suppose you don't want to take a picture now. And I said, yeah. why not? And maybe she opened the phone and I realized I look even worse than I thought I looked. Lord. That I was like, it's Baby, okay. Amanda is asking me, Filippo, what does Bruno Bilotta as Lorenzo Vitale wearing the Equalizer 3? And I watched the Equalizer 3 on the way here, on the plane. But I can't remember. But I love it's the movie. Question. I love the movie. It's uh, filmed in a small town in, uh, in Napoli. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I need to watch it. What's least... Filippo's favorite style? On a woman, we answer that. Like suits, more like not too fitted, covered yeah. up. Yeah, chic, loose. Chic, loose. He Do also more. like a bit of gypsy, hippie vibes, which I don't like at all. But. His vlog was really funny. Does he want to do more? Of course I will, because it was so much fun. Endless fashion inspiration from you too. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Guys, we done. We love you. We leave you, but we are going there now. We'll see how much content we have, and maybe we'll continue. Yeah. Maybe we will end it here, because I know that Filippo loves answering questions, but... Guys, as you probably would have noticed, we haven't properly finished that video. Is that right, Filippo? Correct. And what happened? It happened that uh, the battery went off. Correct. <laughs> it's not a test, by the way. The battery went off. So, we are going to end this video here. And we just wanted to ask you guys what you thought about this little Q&A section or session with Filippo. Did you enjoy it? Very much. But I'm thinking what happened to us uh, tonight in the... with our neighbors. <laughs> We I can't think, yeah, we're gonna have them. no. We have to keep that for another session. Yeah, we keep that for another session. But uh, we just uh, no, we guys. just the, the the most incredible thing happened. Yeah, to, to, we will keep it for the divide. To us, so, uh, no, let's do that. Let's do that. So something happened to our neighbors. Okay, now write down, comment, what do you think it, it happened? happened? Yeah. But it was, I mean, I traveled maybe so many years and so many different hotels and you as well. It never happened to me. Okay. This was like a beyond, beyond. Beyond. So uh, right we now, we will tell you, you probably in the next vlog, which is going to be the Dubai vlog. There's no breaks for vlogs, so we will get you Wednesday and Sunday videos all the time, as usually. And I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in the next year. Until then, I wish you a happy new year. Hope you're having a wonderful one. And see you very very soon. Bye. Bye.